Hi, YouTubers. So, sweet video, so something important. So, I'm still in the garage, and I'm still smoking my nice big-ass cigar of life. Anyway, so, basically, I want to talk about something today that happened in Massachusetts. So, I already did my ramble, my uh, freaking ramble. So, anyway, um, today in Massachusetts, or Massachusetts, based on damn cold here, or damn hot here, damn, 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 I went with my dad, nice big-ass dad, like the big-ass cigar. He's being silly-ass like the big-ass cigar. We went to a convenience store about um, 45 minutes ago or a half hour ago. And we went to the convenience store, and I went inside to the convenience store. I was planning on buying some lottery tickets, but I ended up not buying lottery tickets. I ended up buying a cigar, a nice big-ass cigar. Not a premium cigar, but, you know, a black and mild. Yeah, a black and mild cigarello. Yes, I still occasionally smoke black and mild cigarellos. Not all the time, so... Yeah, not all the time. I don't really like black and mild. They're kind of crappy and shitty in general. So uh, I'm not really a big fan of gas station cigars. But once in a while, I will buy them. So, uh, uh, yeah. So I... Uh, Yeah, so I go in the uh, to the counter, and I say, yes, can I have one black and mild um, regular? And then he grabs a cigar behind the counter. Yes, they're behind the counter, which means they're not self-service. So unfortunately here in Massachusetts, or Massachusetts, we have a statewide self-service ban. So even though they're cigars or cigarellos, they are behind the counter with the cigarettes, just like the chewing tobacco, all that stuff. So they're not like self-service, unlike a tobacco store, like Watch City Cigar, Watch City Cigar, <coughs> where they are where it's, like, self-service. You know, they have, like, like a humidor, like a walk-in humidor, that kind of crap. So, uh, well, Washington doesn't have a walk-in humidor, but you get the freaking points, the fucking points. So, uh, um, yeah, in convenience stores, obviously, mini-marts and, like, you know, that kind of crap, you know, you have to ask for them behind the counter. So, uh, and people think, oh, that only happens in Canada. Nope, it happens in the United States also. So, uh, anyway, so back to the story. So, he got the cigar behind the counter, and he said to me, he didn't ask for my ID, he said, and how old are you? I said, I am 30 years old, and I can show you my ID if you want, and or, or you can see my ID if you want, and I handed him my ID, put my ID down on the counter, and he just took like a, a like a glance, like a literally a two-second glance, and said, okay, you're fine, you're fine, I'm not even going to check your ID, you're fine. And uh, then he uh, he said, okay, it's going to be like a dollar fifty, you know, dollar forty, dollar sixty, whatever. And I gave him a five dollar bill, and he sold me the cigar. So obviously, at the last fucking time, I am thirty years old. So obviously, what he did was perfectly legal because. Obviously, for the last damn time, I am a thirty year old adult. So I'm a grown ass man, like the big ass cigar. And obviously, I wasn't with my counselor, like, last time. So, uh, because obviously with my counselor, I'm not allowed to, uh, you know, consume, like, alcohol or that kind of crap. So, uh, the bottom line is, I'm, I'm getting off topic here. So, uh, the bottom line is, yeah, obviously what he did was perfectly legal. He should have been maybe a little bit more careful and said, like, actually, like, check my ID or scan my ID. But I think with somebody who looks my age... Especially with the big uh, beard, you know, his big-ass beard, like the big-ass cigar. Yeah, I think he said he just wanted to make sure I had ID and wanted to make sure, you know, he wanted to at least ask me how old I was. I'm right around that age where, uh, yeah, you probably look at least 21 years old. You, have to be, you, obviously have to, you obviously have to be 21 to purchase tobacco uh, in uh, the United States now. As of 2020, it's on a federal level now. Uh, but he just wanted to make sure, you know, he wanted to at least ask me, like, hey, like, how old are you? You know, and I said, I'm 30 years old, and here's my ID if you want to, because a lot of times, when, you know, when kids are trying to, like, get served underage with uh, tobacco, especially with tobacco, um, a lot of times what kids will do is they'll just, you know, say, oh, can I have a pack of whatever, or oh, can I have a pack of, you know, uh, this or pack of that, you know, or a can of this, you know, can of that, and then they'll ask them, like, oh, how old are you, and a lot of kids will try to, like, lie about their age, and the fact that I was, uh, you know, I immediately said, I'm 30 years old, and here's my idea if you want, if you want to look at it, uh, that gives the, the store clerk the impression, the fucking impression, uh, that I'm definitely old enough, so anyway, just being careful, ask, like, the big-ass cigar, anyway, pretty fucking cool, bye.